Well, she did test positive. I just heard about this. She tested positive. She's a hard worker. A lot of masks. She wears masks a lot, but she tested positive. I just went out for a test. They just do it. It'll come back later, I guess. And uh, the first lady also, because we spend a lot of time with Hope and others. So we'll see what happens. President of the United States now confirming to the world that he and the first lady of the, of the United States have both tested positive for the coronavirus and they will quarantine. The president tweeting out just moments ago here in the United States, 1254 a.m. diagnosis. So this comes after months of the president downplaying the pandemic to the American people, claiming he didn't want to cause more panic. And of course, the president has attended crowded rallies, rarely seen in public wearing a mask, despite recommendations from top health officials, often heard mocking Joe Biden for wearing one as, last, as late as the last debate on Tuesday night. Our chief national affairs correspondent, Tom Yamas, has that side of the story. Good morning, Tom. George, good morning to you. As you mentioned, the president has downplayed this pandemic. He's admitted to that. His logic was he wanted to stay positive to help America get through this highly infectious and deadly disease. All of this, of course, happening during an election year. But this morning, the president is learning in the worst possible way. You can't argue your way out of this pandemic. Fox News Alert. I'm Ashley Strohmeyer, live from New York. President Trump just tweeted moments ago that he and the First Lady have tested positive for the coronavirus. It follows news that top aide Hope Hicks, who traveled with the president multiple times this week, had tested positive. This includes aboard Marine One, the presidential helicopter, and on Air Force One to a rally in Minnesota Wednesday, and then aboard Air Force One to Tuesday night's first presidential debate in Cleveland. Hicks is said to be quarantining at home and is reportedly experiencing symptoms. Multiple White House staffers have tested positive for the virus in the past. This includes Katie Miller, Vice President Mike Pence's press secretary, the National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien, and one of the president's personal valets. Once again, President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump getting tested for the coronavirus after Hope Hicks becomes the... Um, she becomes the most senior White House official to test positive for the coronavirus so far. As I said, they have tested positive. President Trump tweeted that not too long ago. The virus has killed more than 200,000 Americans and infected more than 7 million nationwide. News that President Trump tested positive for coronavirus was a gut punch to markets. We saw stocks drop lower as investors looked for pockets of protection. Wall Street's fear gauge, the VIX, at the same time touched a one-month high. The asset worse affected anything Russia. We saw the ruble, stocks, and bonds in the region all sell off. Investors I've been speaking with think that this news might increase the odds of a Biden presidency, so some traders might be repositioning themselves around those odds. Still, Let's be clear, the sell-off today, it's been calm and it's been orderly. Some investors telling me that they think this might have no impact when it comes to the longer term, especially if President Donald Trump remains asymptomatic. Still, this does have a serious potential to disrupt markets already rocked by rising coronavirus cases.